Welcome back to another edition of App of the Week. This week, we want to show you the app Canvas. Um, Canvas, the learning management system that we use here um, within Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. Um, it's a fantastic learning management system that, that's, that's available. And it has an app. We want to show it to you that's available that you can get in the, in the, um, in the App Store and the iPad. So when you go to the iPad and you click on the, app, on the App Store, you can do a search for Canvas by Instructure. If you just start typing in Canvas, you'll see one of the options that says Canvas by Instructure. And then once that comes up, you'll be able to click on the app and you'll be able to open it. It is free and you'll be able to pull that up. Now when you open up the app, you'll see a screen that looks like this where it's going to ask you to search for the school. Um, if you simply just type in Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, it should pop up as you type it in. That'd be the easiest thing for you to do. I just type in Charlotte Mecklenburg, it'll come up as you see here. And it's going to ask, we ask you to log in to NC Ed Cloud. And now you can, we all know how to log to NC Ed Cloud, so you will just sign in there um, to your NC Ed Cloud. I'm going to skip that. And once you log in, it's going to ask you to authorize. So you're going to click the blue button to authorize. And then that is going to bring you into our CMS Campus instance, where you will be able to see all of the courses that have been downloaded for you. Um, so this is fantastic. You'll be able to see all the ones listed. If you are missing a course, um, one thing you'll be able to do is click on the gear here at the top, and then you'll be able to check off any courses that you are missing, or maybe you have some courses that you don't really want to see. You can deselect those, and you won't see those in the app. So this is a great way for you to kind of customize what courses you see on the on the app here. So I'm um, just going to close that. You can also. Um, they all, the, each uh, course has little icons at the bottom. You'll see one is the notifications button. That's the first icon. You'll also see it has an assignments button. Um, there's a discussions button in there um, as well. And you will also notice that there is a files button. So each one of those, there's a, a small icon at the bottom of each one. You'll be able to see those. You can also customize the color of the course too. You see each course has a different color. You can click on the little pencil and that will allow you to change the color of the course. I'm just going to pick one now and we're going to just walk through uh, this course. So here's a quiz, one of the courses that we have. So it's our Tech Leader Level 1 course that we did. Uh, you'll see it goes straight to the opening page that we have set. Uh, all the pages are there. The links um, are all working. They're all available. So, I, so now, um, if, a, a, as, as a user, everything that I would normally see from the browser, I can see from the app. Um, and again, all the links work and, and, and everything is in its proper place. Um, and now um, all my users can use it. So um, I want to show you some of the um, different components and different aspects of this. Um, so I just want to click on one of the links. And you'll see it takes me to the, the links takes me to the uh, the module, which is just as it is uh, when you look at it from the browser. All the links in the modules are working. Some of them will take me to different Canvas pages. Some of them may take me outside of Canvas. There's a link here that takes me to a video um, that goes to what the um, outside of Canvas. So this is something that you can do too. So all this information, all the content is available right here in the app. So I'm just going to go back. There are a few limitations. There are some things that you can't do in the app that you can in the browser. And I just want to just walk through these. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I want to mention a few of them. So we're going to start with the announcements. So I'm going to click on announcements. And you can see here, I can see all of the announcements that are available in this particular course. Um, I can even create a brand new announcement by up at the top here by hitting that icon. And now I can type in the announcements. So that's nice. You can create and view all your, your announcements from here. Um, next, you have your uh, assignments. You can take a look at your assignments through here. You can view all of them. If I click on one of my assignments, I can see the details of it. Um, I can also see the submissions. If I click on the submissions tab, I can be able to see all of my students. And I'd be able to click on that to see uh, their submissions from the app. I'd be able to view um, each one of those. So that's a fantastic option that you have available in the app. So I'm going to go back. Um, and then you also have the discussions. So same thing um, with the discussions. I'd be able to view all of the discussions that have been posted. I can also start a brand new one here and um, start my brand new discussion. And now it's um, it can be available for everyone in my class. I can even start open up one and reply to a discussion that someone else has posted. So I can communicate with my class or, or participate in a discussion from there. My students can too. I'm going to click on pages as well. I can view all of my pages that are available. Um, inside there, um, I can't create a brand new page, but I can I can open it. Same thing with modules. I can click on modules. I can view all the modules that are within my course. 
can't create a brand new one, but I can click on it and I can view all the modules and all the content within that module. Same thing with, with our students, they'll be able to see uh, the same thing. So if they decide to use the app from the iPad, that'll be available to them as well. There are items down here for bottom, such as the calendar. So if I wanted to see the calendar, I could click on that um, and I could add content to this. Uh, and my students will be able to see that. There's a to-do list. Uh, you'll be able to have that available on the app. They have notifications, so if you want to see any notifications, you can do that. And then there's also the, um, excuse me, the messages. So if I wanted to be able to communicate with my class, um, don't want to send emails, but I want to be able to send messages to students or to my entire class, um, I can do that right here from the app. All my students will be able to see it, and it'll be available to them. And it's just a quick way for me to communicate with them. And all available from the app on the on the iPad. Um, so. That is the Canvas app. Um, it just makes using um, this learning management system from the iPad um, a lot easier. Um, doesn't have everything, but does have a lot of great things that you can do it. And again, it's free and it's something available for us uh, and all of our students on the iPad.